Hello all 2200 of you. We are here today with, it's not a Mark IV, it's not a Mark II, it's a Mark III, the One UZ. And then we have this S14, pretty reliable SR20. Today we are going to be installing, here let me go get it. Cube shifters very graciously sent us two short shifters. We're gonna try and install them today and see how they feel. We've seen on the internet that a lot of people like these, so hopefully they live up to the hype. Here's some more info about this. So yeah, Richard from Cube Shifters reached out to us through our email and asked us if we'd have any interest in doing a short shifter install on my car. And then I asked Milo what he would think about it. And he was like, oh man, I used to drive like my buddy's Supra that had a Cube Shifters shifter in it. And he was like, this is sweet asked Richard if he'd be down to send me one for my car like we discussed but then also include one for Milo and he was immediately stoked because they apparently in Australia have a Mark III Supra with an LS1 in it. Yeah it was really funny we told Milo we were gonna film this video and we asked him we're like hey can you like clean your Supra up for this video it'd be super sweet if you could just like you know give it a wash and maybe lower it a bit or something and uh, he took that as I'm gonna paint the whole fucking car so he did and um, yeah so Car's got fresh paint on it because he's a lunatic and now we're gonna put a short shifter in it because that's sick. So yeah, it should be a pretty good video and uh, we're gonna let you know if we like this stuff or not, yeah. Um, all right, let's unbox this big mama jama, dude. Holy cow. Richard, you really are good at packing boxes, man. Just, just so you know. Now right, here we are in Canada. No more single use plastics. We've got straws that are made of paper and then there's Richard in Australia, man, who used all of the plastic that we've saved by having paper straws to package the shifter up. Yeah, we can make some straws out of this if we melt it down. Ooh, look at that, man. Plastic, who would have thought? Look at this pretty box, this is super nice. All right, let's open it up and see. Oh man, look at that, plastic. Check this out, plastic, man. Richard, the turtles, come on. This is a really not super exciting unboxing because everything is very nicely and safely packaged and wrapped up. So we'll definitely have to speed this part up, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna rip open all of these packages and we'll see what we got. Dude, Richard knew that I was running out of clothes to wear, so he sent me a shirt. Okay, uh, so I opened up the package for Milo Supra. There's a box, a stick, a shift knob, one little baggie of hardware and a plate. And then I was like, wow, that looks really simple. This shouldn't take much time at all. And then I opened up the Nissan box, bag of hardware that also has springs, a bag of these guys <laughs> like another bag another bag got another bag another bag 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 and a bag oh and then we've got this boot so something is telling me to buy a toyota. that you should buy a toyota <laughs> all right this is everything that was included in the box for milo supra so as you can see like it is like way simpler it is like just a plate an arm and then like some hardware to make it all happen and then this <laughs> All this is everything for the Nissan, so for my car. So two different types of plates, some hardware, like like this threaded collar piece, and then like different like gaskets, arms, all this kind of stuff. So I'm kind of really curious to see how this all goes together, but Milo was looking at the instructions and he thinks it's gonna be actually pretty straightforward once we assemble the thing because we don't have to remove the whole shifter plate. Okay, so here's a quick little PSA about replica stuff. This is a replica sh cube shifter that actually came, a car that Milo had bought and he'd run it, actually he ran it in the Supra. I mean, people know that we've got strong opinions about replica parts and most of the time that does apply to wheels, but we figured this would be a good opportunity for us to show you kind of like why we recommend going with the real stuff and staying away from replica stuff. Like you could see in there, like, yeah, like this, this shifter exploded, like it is completely, useless and like it's just it's done like it's it's garbage you wouldn't want to run this in your car if you actually liked your car why would you even buy this if it saves you some bucks if it's just going to explode a couple weeks later like actually passionate about building cool cars and you want parts that aren't going to leave you heartbroken i'd say just like buck up and spend the money on the thing once and uh you'll never have to worry about it again or you'd be a cheap ass and just blow up shifters we just want to say really quick this is not going to be a DIY video, like we're not gonna walk you through step by step how to do this install. We're just gonna kind of show you how easy it is and what the highlights are. But I mean, if you go and buy a cube shifter kit, it comes with like lovely printed instructions with photographs, so hypothetically anybody can do it. So yeah, um, if you're gonna buy one of these things, make sure you read the instructions and follow them closely because they've obviously put a ton of effort into like 
giving you clear instructions on how to put one of these kits in your car. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna show you how it comes together really quickly here and then do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison on how much of an improvement it causes or creates. All right, let's get started. For this shot, I'm just gonna show you what the stock shift throw looks like when I go from like first to second. So this is neutral, obviously. First gear is all the way up there. Second gear is all the way down there. So like, it's a pretty decently long throw. I mean, Nissans aren't like horribly long to begin with, but it is obviously a stock shift throw. So it's got a pretty decent amount of motion to it. And uh, yeah, I'm ho I, I think they say that their kit removes like 30% of that. So it should make it nice and notchy and uh, make it a lot faster to row through gears. So this is the factory Toyota long throw shifter. You got tons of side to side. I'm forever just throwing my fist into the dash. Not a bad thing, but if I'm trying to be like quick and like, you know, womp some dudes, it doesn't quite work for me. Yeah, I'm really excited to put the cube speed in here. <laughs> Reverse is like, oh. <laughs> look at the angle it's on. I'm gonna be here for like four hours. This thing has so many threads in it. Okay, I love knowing mechanics and people that have like, you know, the, the people that have gone into the snap-on truck and have ruined their lives spending money, so I don't have to. Thanks, Miles. <laughs> okay, this is a part from a car. So is this one. Well, this one's crazy. One thing we should mention before you do one of these installs yourself is they do not include wheel bearing grease or Loctite with the shifters, but if you are into cars, you've probably got that stuff, and if you don't, you can run down to a parts store and grab it. So yeah, make sure you've got some uh, thread lock and make sure you've got some type of grease. It'll make the assembly go a lot better, and obviously that's the way it's intended, so it'll be safer too. We're not done the full reassembly yet, but this thing feels really good. Like it's much shorter and it's really notchy. Like you can really feel the gear selection. Yeah, it looks good. Went together super easily, basic tools. And like I said, just make sure you've got some grease and some Loctite. But uh, yeah, it didn't take very much, very much time at all. I mean, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm just gonna give the interior a quick little wipe down with some detailer and uh, get all the grease that's everywhere not in there. And then we'll do a quick little road test. And then Milo is currently behind me putting the kit in the Supra. So we're gonna be uh, testing that one out after as well. But yeah, I'm gonna hop in the car, do a quick little road test. I just felt it and like, yeah, the shift throw is way shorter and it definitely feels like a lot stiffer and notchier, which is super cool. I'm kind of excited to see just how different of a driving experience it delivers. Can you shift it? Yeah, it's way easier on this Super one. tight. Compared to the rep one, this thing feels like good. Like it's, it's tactile, it's got feedback, and I can find where the gears are. So I really like that. Cool. Okay, shifter is in on the Supra, and we are going for a road test.
yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. Uh, leave a comment, hit like, that stuff really does help us. And go check out our website and our store. We've got all sorts of different merchandise. I also really want to thank Richard from Cube Speed for reaching out. I really do appreciate uh, all the positive things you had to say about our channel and uh, the fact that you're willing to send not just one, but two of your short shifter kits for us to install and make this video with. Yeah, on that note, as I said during the burnout, if you go to Cube Speed's website, which we will link in the description of this video, use Checkpoint Japan 10 as a code for getting a 10% discount off of whatever short shifter kit they have that works for your car. Cube Shifter does amazing burnouts. Uh, we found out firsthand. So yeah, if you like burnouts and you like short shifters, go buy one yeah think about all the time you're gonna save if you don't have to like shift very far there's so many more things that you can do with your day now like big burnouts <laughs>